I want to make another book recommendation here. This one is called Stabbed in the Back, and it's by Norton Hadler. And Norton Hadler is a medical doctor that's worked with a lot of people who have back pain um, for a lot of years. And what he's found is something that I want to talk about here that's really important. I also want to let you know that it's not just Norton Hadler that's claiming what I'm about to tell you. It's also a guy named Dr. John Sarno. If you've ever heard the name Sarno, S-A-R-N-O, you'll know a little bit about what he claims. Now what these guys have both found out is that back pain, in most cases, does not have to do with mechanical damage in the back. It actually has to do with psychological factors in the person experiencing the back pain. And the way to get rid of the pain is not as many people are told to do and lay in a bed for as long as possible. That actually makes the pain worse. And cutting off activity actually makes the pain even worse by increasing stress, which is one of the biggest causes of the pain. Now don't freak out and think, <clears throat> well, I'm never going to lose all the stress in my life, so I'll never get rid of the back pain. Uh, really what it comes down to is understanding that stress is what causes the pain and understanding it's not mechanical damage and just that alone does a lot in curing the problem. Now, if you want to know more, please read this book, Stabbed in the Back. This is an excellent book. Now, it gets a little bit technical. If you want a simpler book, I don't have it right here to show you because I just loaned it out, but it's a book by John Sarno, MD, and it's called Healing Back Pain. You can also get Sarno's book that he wrote before that one called Mind Over Back Pain. And this really starts to get into the mind-body connection and how your mind and how your emotions and how you deal with your emotions, not the fact that you experience them at all, but how you deal with them affect the pain you feel in your body, uh, not just your quality of life psychologically, but your physical quality of life. So dealing with your emotions and dealing with psychological factors is important for you physically. And let me just add something in here. Have you ever known people who seem to be really miserable people and they're always in physical pain too? I'm not saying it's always the cause, but I'm just saying to start to open up your mind to the emotional factors that are involved with the pain that you might feel in your body and how dealing with the emotional factors, dealing with them in a different, more productive way can actually help your physical pain. But don't take it from me. Take it from Dr. Sarno and Dr. Norton Hadler. And please check out their books.